What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about Speedex implements, particularly aftermarket. Now, those of you who are familiar with Speedex tractors, you know how hard it is to find the implements. Well, I found one off of eBay from Impact Implements. I believe it's sold by Lion Power Sports. Um, I'm have to, I'll put a link down, or I'll put a picture up of what I got. But this is supposed to be a Scarfire or a uh, kind of like a cultivator is what they call it. But anyway, we're going to unbox this thing and see if it'll fit. Well, as you can see, it's made in China. It's supposed to be uh, 48 inches wide. It's supposed to have five tines with it. Now, those of you who know, I know some Speedex have different uh, hookups for the implements. This is the one what I'm looking at, the one I the 1631 that I have, uses a category zero, so they call category zero. So they're a little bit hard to find because they're smaller. Most of your like ADNs and farm all tractors, they use what they call a category one. But let's get into this and see what we got. Right. I don't know how well y'all can see that. It says impact implements is the brand all right this must be the times and that's pretty much pretty much it of course there's not much to it turn this around Hoping this fits because I know uh, a lot of folks like to use the Sears Suburban implements and you have to modify them to make them fit a speed X. They're a little bit different. Hopefully I won't have to modify this because I guess I get to be the guinea pig on it. All right, now that I got her all unpackaged for you. Figured I'd save y'all that step. Um, basically, the description that I got off of eBay said they had five times times instead of six. It actually comes to six. But you know what? I'm not going to complain about it. Because six is more than five and we could always use a few more. Um, but Alright, I'm going to give you a measurement for the hitch part. So you can see, because if you have maybe a different size garden tractor, like a Power King or what have you. And maybe if you're looking for implements, this might help you as well. Here to here, it's basically just a little bit more than 19 inches. I don't know if y'all can see that. Basically a little bit more than 19 inches from there to there. Up here, where your top link would bolt, is about 13. Alright, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Let's put these pins in. Takes a speed wrench. Ooh, it almost don't fit. Almost had to break out the big boy. Thank you. 
got this part put on. Let's see if we should bolt up to our tractor. Let's see if this thing will fit on here. Let's get this up on the metal. Another neat thing about this came for a pin for your top link. I thought that was pretty neat. Do a little measurement. right at 20 inches so pretty sure it's gonna fit so that's great that's good news let's put it on oh yeah that fits nicely it's perfect I managed to do that. Everybody's going to do something like that. It's going to be me. All right. And there we go. Let's lift it up all the way. All right. Let's put the tines in. All right. I've got the implement all the way up. We're gonna put them in. Put them in just right, just above the ground, so we can get better depth. And you can adjust these accordingly. You got holes in here that you want know, to go up or down with it. Now, these folks aren't paying me anything. I'm just doing this just to help y'all out and help myself out. I don't do the sponsor, Mr. Sponsorship or any of that nonsense. Just straightforward. But anyway, the cost of this was about $250. It wasn't too bad. Free shipping, of course, it's eBay. I don't know if you could find it cheaper anywhere. Of course, this was the cheaper model. Right. This one, we'll turn the other way. Just in case something doesn't snap, snag this pin and pull it out. There she is, folks. All right. Well, there she is, guys. Not much to it. Pretty simple. Not bad for $250. 
All right, well, let's try it out in a little plot of land here. Let's see what, we, see what she'll do. All right, well, there you go, guys. She works beautifully. Uh, the ground's a little uneven from last year's garden. But she works pretty well. And my only complaint about this, of course, you know, it's not as heavy as the original implements were, you know, but it's really... It's, the quality is pretty good. The quality is there. It's pretty well built. Like I said. And it came with all the pins and stuff. Which I thought were pretty neat. Which I guess it's supposed to. But, but like I said. My only complaint is. It's a little shallow. For the Speed X. And you cannot adjust the width of these. These are, these are welded into place. But other than that. I mean it's pretty good. I consider it a pretty good deal for uh, the Speed X tractors, considering what implements go for, but $250 is not bad. All right, guys, well, the test was a success. This impact implements will work for a Speed X 1631. Now, they do have some other implements like a box blade and a rake and stuff, and I'm real interested to see if those will work as well, since I do not have any of those. If you would like to see more of this or more of those, please comment down below in what you would like to see next. Maybe we can buy something, we can try it out, and this can be a, a monthly thing. But all right, well, that's going to do it for this episode. I want to thank you all for watching, and remember to please like, subscribe, all that mumbo-jumbo. And anyway, you all have a good evening. Thanks for watching.